Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the St. Francis Hospital Cardiac Imaging Lecture Series. Today, we're going to go over how to calculate the aortomitral valve angle in the operating room using QLab software in under a minute. Let's go now to the echo cart where we have a 3D volume and launch MVQ, where we have this layout of four screens. And you notice the right upper screen is a screen where we need to have the three chamber view. And initially what we do is we align the purple line, the horizontal line with the mitral valve annulus and then rotate the short axis view in order to achieve the three chamber view in the right upper quadrant. And here we're just adjusting the purple line. Subsequently, we just click next, which will get, bring us to the markers. And we put the anterolateral marker here and the posterior medial marker there. And you can see the right lower quadrant tells you exactly what marker to put so you won't make a mistake. We then put the nadir of the leaflets and the other part of the aortic annulus, which is very important for the aortomitral angle. And simple, right thereafter, you just click next and all the processing is done for you. And uh, you click on the tab that says aortomitral angle and it's listed right under. So as you can see, it's pretty simple. One, two, three, you have your aortomitral angle calculated for the surgeons. Now as a summary, number one, launch MVQ. Number two, line up the mitral valve annulus with your horizontal purple line. Number three, match the right upper quadrant box with the equivalent three chamber view by rotating the short axis box, which is the left lower quadrant box on MVQ. Four, place the annular markers as instructed by the software. And five, just press next and everything is processed. I hope you found this presentation both informative and enjoyable. If so, please smash that like button and subscribe.